consequences, I get that. But just because they fear the outcome of an election, and I say that for both sides, of course, all sides, you understand, not missing none for begins to talk tensions, talk violence. You have to make sure that you keep people, your base energized, get people out there and vote and monitor a vote. So that way, ECSL announce the result, we we'll all know, say, people are already start, get a chance to participate, and at the result that will neighbor. But just sit down and they stoke tension, create suspicion, create fear. It is not good because at the end of the day, keep in mind, as my and listeners, this country will get plenty, plenty picking there. We now reach voting age. They, know, they will not mix. But when you create a violent um, environment, you see bloodbath, they see people in the course, people in the say some things that were really, really bad, it affects even the children. So let's think about that. Remember, I said not to all men really they directly benefit from the politics of this country. We just want a government for organized with own affairs. All right. Well, Abraham Tommy, um, bottom line, violence according to her, not supposed to get any place in a salon. Well, um, we will continue with the program, Good Morning Salon, where they come to you from 98.1 FM. All right, we continue with the program and look at more issues inside this edition of the program Good Morning Salon. We look at more issues as we talk about senior we get for do it. Um, peace towards the June 24 elections. Well, we do go for other issues now. Usai, about 1,500 young people in Abu, Bombali, Western Area, Kono, Moyamba, Tonko, Lili, and Cambia, they take part in the Promoting Peace in Electoral Process Conference where they go on our seven districts and we now for promote peace building in the election. During the conference, now both districts, some young people and we been witness the conference being put together one position paper who started call on the Electoral Commission of Salon for make sure see they announce the election results quick one as we for tap violence, not for happening in the election process. They make this position during the conference with action aid together with the democracy, CCYA, and other parts of them, where they be all for young people them not defend these kids. Them. For more on this, share no dialogue reports. Between the year 2018 to 2019, their full barometer shows see Salon be ranked 52 position out of 163 countries them and the Global Peace Index has been dropped 18 place down. The report continues say Salon there among five other Africa countries them. We get a tendency for experience more violence during the next election, and the reason for this now because of the camp political tension waking up in during the election period. Now, Salon, and as the country go only June 24, 2023 elections inside the next three days from now, plenty of violence don't happen at different parts of them. Now, the country now for sake of this make action aid, CCYA, Red Democracy, and other parts of them. They now engage over 1,500 young people in seven districts them on the importance of peace before, during, and after the election. Bombali district, now one among the seven places them who say this engagement, they go on presently, who say young people and stakeholders in the meet and talk about the importance of peace. I meet with Fatmata Fona Jalo, regional manager action aid, northern region, will tell me see, Inside Makeni the people forget about 250 young people, the Sierra police, the military, political party leader them, and self other people who said them go talk on the need for peace in Makeni Tongue. Expect, say, first of all, for be peace ambassadors, for convince and, you know, cajole the company and let them stay focused and be law abiding. Because, you know, Sierra Leone with population is young, it's almost 60%. And we know they are prone to violence. People will take advantage of them because these are the energetic people. People can seize advantage, take advantage of them. Especially so we you know most of them, again, their, their income level is very low. So all that's the work against them. We focus, say, let we talk to the young people. Not them, people like in can fool for their alalade. If we're able to convince them, we will get a peaceful election. Usman Ibrahim Kamara. Chief Superintendent of Police, Local Unit Commander Makini Division, believes see engagement they like this before elections. They go a long way for maintain peace in the country. We don't engage in so many engagements, talking about this peace, 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 before, during, and after. But my perception here is the one they win are the targeted groups, talking about they want to the gray areas, they want to the ghetto, 
how far we don't go down for go tell them because these are the perpetrators. So I hope say with all these engagements, these workshops, all the way to the lab, then for care and go and tell the one the way now the most people them where them probe to violence for say this type around we don't want no violence. Well McKinney at large, it come one way or the other. The reports don't show say plenty term now young people politicians them can use for cause violence. This make this conference they focus more on young people them after the conference now McKinney I meet with young people and we take part in the conference and then tell me about how this conference don't help for improve their sabi on how to prevent violence in the community. I am Fatima Tamaria Tujia. I am Debra Malen, Makeni. Let we stop forget intention say this will not come on at the same time. It's very bad. Because we all are Sierra Leonean, even if you are not Mende, Timni, or Loko, we for take ourselves say we all are the same. And we for live as peace, and we for go vote Saful, can we all Saful. Even if you party, we need to celebrate Saful. But if you want to make any comments here for any case, it is going to the law side, go to a Saful, rather than for make violence. Like me, so I mean, I'm born of my boca. So maybe Wednesday or Thursday, I go go. I will go, I go engage the youth man, the way that my own brother there, in the area for talk to them. Let them stop violence. I'm going to go to the I've been tell police come. What you can learn here today, what tell me competency. Any Saturday, if we may meet Alala, take place. Advice, do party there. Say, oh man, this if you can't fetch, you can't pull the country. We saw the go. We are now, we are, we are strong. We list what they go on at the country. Without win, we go support her. Without loss, we embrace her. Say, oh man, oh be here. Now, now we get the country. No, no fetch. Cause no what now all. We like we see mama left me na na tongue. They run away. I suffer a lot in that village and left me. Pass God and he guide me. You know, let all come out in this country again. My name is Zainab Tikamara and Adem Akene. The training was very much vital because it gave me more awareness for new things, especially in terms of violence before, during and after elections. And I think I feel to say, like, as young people, we really learn a lot. And not to only come and learn, but we go preach and exhibit what to ever think they don't teach we as well today. Away from Makini, I come to both this street. We say the same engagement like the one at Makini, Kambia, Moyamba, Kono, Tonkolili, and Western area. They carry on. And for both this street, young people been present position paper to stakeholders them on what they want for see inside this election. But what in the inside this paper, Jimmy Ture, now the person will be do the presentation. One, so we the youth want to see all political parties them for let them denounce violence and accept the election result. Then the other point back we will discuss on now let the state securities them, let them strengthen the rule of law so that elections and right of voters and candidates can be protected as well. We will also look at what election can happen with the CCA for let them pronounce result can take time. So this time we the advocate, we the appeal, do please the bodies that we them concern. For let them timely pronounce election result according to law and let the PPRC engage all political parties after the election so that they will talk to them and dialogue so that we will get peace in this district. Let me watch that last one that we just make mention of. How important this be to the peace process from our own angle? We know say ECSL get a lot for do, you know, and during elections we expect a lot from them. But this time round we look at the tensions that wouldn't happen. So if ECSL delays more self for pronounce the election result, it will create chaos. You will see the other political party go, go on rampage and say even now we don't win you go even see the other political party go say now we don't win and if that happen the recipe for violence could increase and the youth the more will be involved so we want as the election results don't come let them try for cool time and able pronounce and so that everybody will be at rest as the young people here so don't make this position how action aid and then partner them go work with the young people and foresee the authorities them implement what the young people them want Mohamed Fufana now the head of programs na action aid. This now all hands on deck. Action aid now a member of the civil society organization where they play a critical role in ensuring the protection of lives and property. In this regard, we will continue for engage with relevant stakeholders, government and beyond, to make sure say we hold the peace. Because with peace, every other thing will happen. So anything we get for do with Issues of concern, let them be direct, directed through legal means. Because some of the things that the young people they don't talk about, now, themselves self make commitments, eh? 
They're not going to be involved into any violent acts across the country before, during, and after the elections. The different young people who will participate in this program in both districts end up as action aid and their partner them say they will use the sabi they don't can get from this training and go out in different communities them and preach about peace for the society for real democracy. Me, Nacheng Nujalo. Right. The program Good Morning Salon, they continue 8 a.m. Now the time from the studio clock. We come back to the studio guest then. As we tell you earlier, the program say today, inside the program, Radio Democracy, they talk to civil society organization. Then we they talk about waiting the country need now for the election. We get for be June 27 on this Saturday coming. Waiting for do for make it be peaceful. Now the question will be asked the civil society organization them. Um, I'll go over to you, Abdul Fatoma, again as we they look at the topic of the day. We are waiting. Um, the nation need for do now for let this election come out peaceful one. And I the question and where they start with you with waiting salon need for do at this point because now we don't give just now our opinion of waiting. I think say. Um, the thing that will only happen inside the past one month towards the election, and I don't talk, and I don't condemn the violence, and also don't make and clear say this is not the same way. Then thing they are for the open, but the political parties them especially need for the debates and the talk about issues them. So now we're going to the elections. Now just one day left to the elections. Waiting need for be done at this point. Waiting need for be done now, and waiting be need for be done. There be two things. One. The politicians them be need for educate the people them as to how for go vote, for participate in the electioneering process peacefully. And two, waiting not them plan, waiting at the alternative policies and where this party get, where the other party not get. Like the current administration, Usai then go wrong and the other party them. Usai then thinks say then go able for can make the correctness and get this country into a better footing. But the sad thing where we can witness in this country, we can only enjoy the care of politicians and where election come. At that time then they, they see politicians care about welfare. At that time then they, they see politicians concern say we forget electricity. At that time then they, they see say politicians and concern say we forget good health care, we forget good school. But how will they get them good school then they they're not they able for engage the, 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 the citizens there, for tell them in order for let people then get more interest for participate before then they create a lot of fear in the life of people them and where some people they now go even afraid for participate, but the same thing where the politicians they want for gain from. So what we need as a country. Inside the Quran, inside the Bible, God talk about love. And when you love God, when you love, now God you love. And who say love day, now they God day. So at this moment, you know, within the next 48 hours, what is Sierra Leone need, now love, where would they go to the pool? We love Sierra Leone and vote for Sierra Leone and ensure say this country be peaceful. All right. Um, quick one. Yes, the please. opposition political party then. Don't they raise concern, especially APC? And you don't they monitor the whole process from meetings, all most of the meetings them, your organization um, be represented. Then they ask ECSL for certain demands them. Where if they don't meet, we then begin and position them. And from the meetings then where you don't you, you be done they attend. You think saying a genuine concern the the opposition party then we get or the APC party being get? Well, concerns then will be genuine, but they might not be reasonable. You know, um, the reasonability of s some concerns then can come clearly. Like, for example, if you know, say, Abdul Fatoma not get $1 billion, they ask Abdul Fatoma, say, you want $1 billion. You concern genuine for let Abdul Fatoma give $1 billion, but it's not reasonable because you know, say, Abdul Fatoma not get up. Then the, the, since the, the, the crisis where we get also in this country, now the sincere dishonesty of we politicians in this country. Some meetings and they were politicians and they attend, then they agreed with EMBs. Them. They say, okay, we well, not don't solve these issues. But when they go back to them parties or neither to the general public, they know they actually cascade this issue where they don't agree on. Now they're meeting then they. 
So then they hold the information and create another different pictures. And for example, um, if you they demand say somebody in my mind in date of birth, I mean in my mind name in date of birth, the, the, the person in your date of birth, in papa in name, in house address, in telephone number, in your signature or in term print, if will be available na a political party in an and the political party get for you know send representatives then a different polling centers uh, oh, above one thousand and the moment where you don't get access to me date of birth my, my name you don't get all my security you they play dv for me and win with my name without my face so tomorrow if i want to go us i go to me my name now for go apply with me full name in my, my name for visa then go deny me say i don't play we identity theft day it's well known. Even an advanced country where they do everything online. It's easy for do. There are a lot of ways and procedures where you're able to engage processes. So when the, most of the meetings they will they attend with political party and the EMBs, then they do PowerPoint presentations. So then PowerPoint presentations, and they, can they show clearly? And the politicians that work, attend, work in that room, all political parties, where they participate, then they unanimously agreed. Sometimes and they we the civil society then now we they even challenge the EMBs then on what what the politicians then say. Now then they participate in the political process. So then thing and then for them. So later when we can see that say then position can shift again and be different, then you actually see that say we politicians then sincerely dishonest and the law for this country. I mean, it's not their concern. It's more about the law for themselves and their family members. Eh? So now this is the public for our about, and now this is the public for look to who that love you, now in love God, then I love your country. Continue for the weeks. We now the program. Abdul Fatuma will come over to you again. Come over to we next studio guest now. We now Rashid Dumbuya. We they look at the topic. We now waiting need for be done as a nation. Waiting we need for do as we go into the polls on the twenty fourth. Of um, this month, when I start to come in, what's need for be done? Yes, so um, it's a nice question, but um, maybe I will, I will, I will, I will tip small time for answer waiting. Um, ask me, ask me okay, to talk a little. Okay, because you know, if, if we find follow understand first waiting happen, okay. and then they will make a recommendation. So, um, in we view, we don't pull a press um, statement um, yesterday night, and um, we make them very clear. Uh, that um, first we look at the issues where APC may they agitate over, and then reaction, and of course the police in reaction as well, and also the issue about ECSL. So important for us to get the context clear, even as we rush to provide recommendations. So first, we we look at the approach of APC. So they may get genuine concerns, no doubt, concerns about the release of the comprehensive data, concerns about um, how you go for transfer the data concerns also about the early voting, uh, which now legitimate concerns where anybody can raise where they participate in the electoral process. But then we, we get for blame them small in the area of the approach. Who participates by this? Yeah. Or we make the public know? Yeah, yeah no, it's, a, it's a very good question you're asking. And this is not about the opposition. So, me as a CSO, I need to talk for opposition. I talk for the people of Sierra Leone. So, anything where it's necessary to if we meet the international best standards, not for just APC. It's not, APC is not only competing in these elections. So, informing the public one day prior to the, to, the, to the election was not best practice. And you know, even give you the opportunity. In fact, me and I are a valued partner of ECSL, and I they work with them greatly. We don't receive some small funding from them, and even the ECOWAS fund, we they help greatly for help this process, let people understand the process. So, we felt a little bit disappointed that. We normally get the enough notice for participate in the in the observation process. So it's not about necessarily APC. Then again, I got a question we perhaps also are not happy about regarding the early voting, particularly when we look at the issues in not just presidential you know, elections we are giving to these people. Um, to me, if you green early voting, it has to be comprehensive. There should not be denied parliamentary and mayoral elections. So these are things we can learn going forward and make better, but and we put this in, in writing to them. But me thinks the APC norming correct in perhaps taking this fight in a protest way to ECSL and avoiding perhaps raising the case to the courts 
way perhaps will be the legitimate way for dealing with electoral issues. So as a real recommendation, one, the parties themselves get away for play as a first point for now restore confidence. People are non-discouraged. And I too I agree with me, brother, and I say many people non discouraged right now. And we will likely see a low vote turnout. If we not pray and trust God for the people and get confidence back will come out and we know we're good for the election. So APC is people for go out now and restore confidence to the people men and come out and vote. Then secondly, of course, we CSOs and good for play for educate. Many people are still not understand the, the, the PR system. It's a very difficult system, particularly on the parliamentary and the mayor council, I mean the parliamentary and the look at council election side. So we need for still help people in this second one or two days we're meaning for no for votes. And then I'm surprised when they don't see the phases of candidates, particularly in parliamentary elections, and then they, they, they come out in the numbers and vote and avoid the votes. And because again, these are the things also where also might happen because many people are still disgruntled and, and, and annoyed. Then, of course, the security sector gets a good for play for protect the polling centers. And of course, party agents, right now, there are a lot of fears that um, the Southeast is not um, comfortable for some parties. So that, gets, that confidence should be restored by the Secretary of Forces, say, APC, for get people in there, for monitor, and let we get a very free and fair election. Then, of course, ECSL gets to go for play, for restore confidence. They are the referees. They have to come out and restore confidence, let everybody believe, say, then go. Do this in a free, fair, and credible manner without any fear or favor. All right, so Ashidumbe, we'll come back to you from Legal Link. We come over to the other studio guest, Wena Ibrahim Tommy from Cal. Before we raise a few points as to what it need for be done, what are you think say we miss as a nation? We make results to the incidents that we happen this um, past month. So let's go straight to the point. Elections, na salon, get laws, we get standards, we get best practices. The question we made on the ask, and my brother Ash there, I don't try to make a point about outside people and go wrong. What is it that ECSL don't feel for do in 2023 elections? We then do in 2018, we then do in 2012, we then do in 2007, we then do in 2002. My point basically is. So Rashid talks, oh, APC for don't go court. Of course, you go court when they say, okay, a law has been breached. Or when you say, okay, these are standards, so all accept. These are international or even look at best practices where he says they don't, don't via from. My simple question to everybody we don't they raise concerns, don't they sh jump up and down is, which law, which law he says don't breach. Which electoral law we say when you register people and you forgive me, you forgive political parties or medita. Which law? There's no law. The law describes what for be the content of a voter register. But that law not say give that same voter register to political party. There's none. Issue after issue. I want listen, I want let we let we let we this is what I've been saying. I didn't have one group I, I even sent a voice message. This have five talk around, let's call things by their name uh, as civil society leaders. It's okay for political parties and disagree. It's okay for political parties and get concerns about the process. But if you get for wait two weeks, three weeks to elections, where as somebody tweeted the other day, the same electoral commission has already challenged then legality now. You don't go, now that you don't go do nominations with, you don't engage with the PPRC. You don't have all kinds of functions. If they question them now two weeks or so before elections, that's not fair. It's unreasonable, as somebody said. Because what you are now doing is you are creating a picture where they cannot resolve it. I mean, do even say, let's we'll get an, a, a team of international election uh, um, experts who can conduct election. Man, let's be honest. Um, there's a constitution, and that constitution says nobody knows they conduct election unless parliament approves them. You are basically calling for the suspension of the constitution. It's not, it's not fair. And, and by the way, I mean, not to one party they, they contest in this election. There's APC, there's SAPP, there are at least 12 other political parties, right? Let us make this about our laws, about our country, about our constitution. So all of these things, I put it back to anybody listening, and they can call in. 
which waiting there ECS don't do in 2023, or waiting do in 2018, 2012, where he says, I don't feel for doing 2023. That's how. So all it's about elections, uh, resource management, oh, give voter register. Was that what, is that the standard? Is that national, international best standard? Why are you introducing it? Is it because of the current crop of commissioners? Is it because you're so, out of fear, out of suspicion? It doesn't help. And for these issues to have been raised repeatedly and then efforts made to address them, I see ECSLM, then, then, then seven point response to all the issues. You have to give it to them. And by the way, I attend the election steering committee meetings. This is a meeting of government agencies, MDAs, international development partners, civil society leaders. There is not a meeting where people from civil society to development partners, even some MDAs, they raise these concerns. ECSL responds to these concerns. But by the way, the whole point is, if really... Six months ago, eight months ago, one year ago, you felt that the way the electoral commissioners were appointed was unconstitutional, like he suggested, go to court for a declaratory order that the appointment unlawful or unconstitutional. You not do that when the two weeks election, you are confusing your supporters. You are not energizing your base. And so it's, it's not cool, right? By the way, if you got caught, then court give an order, then he says, no, follow that order, is a basis for election petition. So in other words, the missteps where um, um, Rashid talked about, if I log in the, the, the content, me want, I want to be educated. What is it that the ECS had done in 2023, way different than 20, um, 2018, way different than 2012, based on all the demands, all the demands here. Yeah. Listen, we can go back, ask my let people understand this. SIPP in opposition question Christian at all. They did. After the 2007 election, 2012, where President, uh, where he continued, um, then, then where President Krumah renewed tenure, then question They said, no, then reject the opposer. Once they deal with that, they did not come back two weeks to election, they begin to say, oh, we need to participate because we are not agree for let Christian Top set, step aside. Why am I going back to this issue? I'm going back to this issue for say, some of these issues, they are not new. What's different now the way how the opposition, APC, the manager, they raised these issues a, a year ago. We seem to have moved on as a people, as voters. They don't participate in all of them processes. Two weeks to election, you can't raise them. It's not cool for your own supporters. Me, I say this in the interest of democracy. Because there are people sitting there. There are so many people that were not sophisticated and educated like me and you. Now, what they believe now is election agar for election agar for right. In fact, I've had people say election agar for right. If they're not postponed this election to August, we're not they participate. Oh, they don't read them. You don't do that. It's unfair to your own supporters and to your own democracy and to we all. We, we as civil society leaders, 50 or so meet this um, two days ago. We issued a statement. That, issue, that statement is coming out today. We basically say we need peace, but that peace has to be rooted in a number of concrete issues. Political party leaders and really, like Rashid don't say, we need for let them begin educated. We all have society for educate, but most importantly, not tone down this rhetoric. This this hate field ethno regional divide nonsense, I'm calling it nonsense because it's utter nonsense. In my village where I come from, right, the, the chief imam is from the north. The, the there's a chief, Timni chief in my village. It's this whole ethnic thing, mandate Timni, not just for votes. It's wrong. Let's turn that down the rhetoric. And the role of people in, within our, in our social media, mostly based outside of the country, where they stop uh, this tension and violence, we have to call them out. We have to disown them. We have to disagree with them publicly. And when we disagree with them publicly, we for me now. Now, allow me to use this opportunity to ask my, for make this call. Over the last couple of weeks, a lot of people have done the protest. Um, police go say unlawfully. They don't arrest them, then they're in detention. So they were done they're in detention for more than 72 hours, some of them maybe more than 10 days. I want to use platform for all the Israeli police for release them, especially the one that when I just protest them, they protest. Let them release them unconditionally. Right then I want them away me they make going forward. So that when we tell people and say let them participate, we will not say no, but not the way they're in detention for reasons. I not say possibly you go born us or or cause um, damage. That's not peaceful protest. But it's possible just we peacefully protest. They arrest them because in order permit, let them release them people in there without any condition, uh, precondition. Sorry. Finally, please, 
election, they come anyways, Saturday we get for vote. Let people uh, accept. First, of course, the position to accept the result. But if you don't accept the result, of course, you don't have to accept if there are reasons for you for belief, say, the process has been rigged. Challenge them in the court. Can court. But there's also a role for the interreligious um, council. Religious leaders have a role to play. They have to engage. But they also have to do education. Because all of these things sometimes is founded in ignorance. And I say use ignorance not to focus people. Because people like just no, no, possibly demonstrate no data, no election. Then you ask them, whose data you want? Whose data you want? It's not able to answer. Which data you want? So we are basically exploiting poor, ignorant people, and they make them become violent and apprehensive and suspicious of the process. That is unfortunate. We're going to the All People's Congress, APC Party, Osai, Wednesday, June. 21, some APC member them, now the APC party headquarters, been a demonstrate to say them all placard them where I say the chief lecturer commissioner, when Mohammed Kone Moscow, was at them protest that they say they want to make um, neutral people and conduct the election. But I will listen to Mange Mansare as a report. <laughs> A day na the APC party office right now, we say people them old placards with different messages them where them actually put in the placard. They say no data, no election, for them must go. So the people in the right now they hold them placards, then they actually they, they protest na the APC party office on the side of the APC party office. We they see security forces with guns there, where they want protesters there. As soon as they hear it right now, now the protesters them, now they voice them this. The people, so now I go talk to them, but what do they think? They say, for go. They say, no, 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 that again, because it's time now, we don't put there for the data. We say, they will put that again, for the election. We say, no election. So I continue to talk to more people there, as soon as they hear it, where they are at the protest. I think Mohamed Kone and his entourage must go. We want to, we want to save our democracy. Our democracy wants to restore it again. We want a better life for children, children yet unborn. That's all I want. So what is that the problem? The problem is that we don't, want, we don't have a proper data, a proper registration. The reaction is not free and fear. That's, all, that's why we are here to protest. For our democracy. So I continue for talk to more people. Eh? Now I go I go talk to a lady now. So what's the problem? The data, the data for come out. Let go. Go go go. go. Election. So what's the problem? The problem, Mohammed Kone, if them for change, I for go because we don't find out say why the election from the one it is put with on the election. So we the salon people, eh? we the demonstrate say Mohammed Kone for go. But it just left few days going out to election. International committee then for put time for election. Because the man of credible, yes, and why we the election. So we don't agree with the salon people. Yes. Well they want to win at this country. They don't suffer with that is five years. We don't suffer with the woman, they don't suffer the man, they don't suffer with the not suffer. They say free education, look how free education they today. These students they pay 500,000 for free education. They pay 2 million 500 for free education. Now they don't say for kind of election. We need fear and fear election. They will do fear election. They don't all with that, they don't all give with that. Sir. They don't give back, 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 not just people and they out and with them placards them, then they protest. This morning, now the APC office, people let me the the old placard and they protest say no data, corner must go. But this situation they actually deteriorate. Usai police begin to fire tear gas and other things them. We've been scatter um, the people them. So now I think the Bluefields community, 
we now one of the affected people and because we didn't the community now the Bufis community you see everybody they nine owes um tear gas they burn people and and all the rest of it at the interview the community people for, for know how this law affects them uh you know me easy this morning because uh me this has the really voice of all over the fire the tear gas all over here let me take all over here people in the room um the tear gas the fire and ipc office but we get the 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 affected and affect to now we know stuff all around to attack power you know me easy this morning as i talk okay so um um we see people in the inside and all the rest of it. why you not go inside uh, because of what we will see that we could go inside because inside they fire live bullets and tag us and i mean so you know, we'll let you know unless you go for green side we we continue for talk to more affected people in na the bufus community back to now can so this is what you move on and you move out can buy for go now stop to for go you move walk and we see people they run 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 tear gas now the thing i know more now we soon have to ask and then the electricity now so then they use them boy then the electricity will enter inside okay so um as um you see the road and don't block and all them things and they now just military personnel them you they see now the streets and other few people them um we they continue for talk to more people them way we they meet up along the way at, uh, around the apc party office and at the buffalo's community we come for go now party office like a whistle like a missile you see me i wait yet now we they send that chair gas panaya we then soldier in the OSD, so German, and we then send that to Gaspar and say, Good, no, they for pass. We say, Why? So, man, then begin to like, say, One piece, one piece, now they send the talk then. Then come on out, we then begin stone we with the tree gas and they go down by you building. So, we say, One piece now, country, one free and fair election. I make one come on our streets for demonstrate for picking the future tomorrow. Now, that's what we do. We, we say, Let's not stop and for we because now we right. We are citizens of Sierra Leone, we're supposed to demonstrate for rights. And the common about the car, each by this, um, before the lights here, this street here, one burn, we the policeman and sin up. Then so we know the burn, if not party office, we go. Now, so we see a pen, we can't get one of yours. No, then they allow law, we don't go in fire, you know, officer. If you don't, they don't join politics, it's also a law, so it's a commander. If you can't kill one, I kill you for rights. So that the world will go and pen, so any South Pastor will not get good for pass. Any sort of gonna not get good for pass. And this time balance we bad. We're not gonna have freedom. We're not gonna know where if impossible where you tell people close them. If you talk to them, when you talk to you, you're like my policeman in the condom because of you see where the colored. So we're not gonna write any any kind of one person not get away. Well with the debt away then they protest for and they say Connor must go with the placard say with their own. Waiting will be the fate of this demonstration. Or waiting will be the fate of this election. We then can protest there. Yeah. For Radio Democracy, Mange Mansaye, the report. All right, we continue with the program. Good morning, Salon. Where they come to you from 98.1 FM. We still go with studio guest them, um, experts in human rights, good governance, and democracy, as all the organizations they are they representatively had only work on them in the last decade. Well, um, we come again over to you, Fatoma. Um, Ibrahim told me to make mention earlier where they talk, say, according to him, there is no law with ECSL don't, don't break um, in the whole electoral process. But then also, um, and the people where they protest care concern in which somebody go and say, this is my own right, for that gets concern and la able for for demonstrate me, 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 me own rights in a peaceful way. Um, you hear it from that report today with Mange make yesterday in the situation and then I'll be um, um, the APC party office. So what do you make up of this, uh, the whole demonstration will be? Well, first thing first, what do we need to establish uh, the fundamental right of every citizen, uh, any democratic uh, community, and Sierra Leone one the democratic society, to let them protest and let them express their voice. The constitution of this country guarantee that and other international laws or treaties and where this country has signed up to also give the guarantee to citizens. So um, that's not contestable. But however, in every protest, you the demand for a social change. A social change will go influence, you know, government for readjust. Usai wuna say things wrong for let things go get straight. But when you decide for doing a protest of destruction, then it become challenging, you know, to, to, to the country and also to 
uh, the citizens. And the same constitution, we give we, we all right for protest and express we will uh, or, or we views. The same constitution also place a burden on the state for ensure that they then secure the welfare and, and security of citizens, uh, meaning uh, commonly police and can say life and property. So anything with the threatening the life of citizens, now a responsibility on government for ensure say every citizen, it no matter you short, you tall, you belongs to party Y, party X, for secure, you know, um, your well-being. And then the, the demand say no data, no election. I mean, like I say, everybody get right for expressing view, but how reasonable them views and they they not in other thing. Now, if we will not get data as the demand they go, then no election. Well, this country after June 24, if we no go election, we they go into in government. And Africa, you know, they taste manpower. Go ask Guinea for the experience of entering government. Currently, they will tell you the bitter experience. So, we don't do registration process. We don't uh, accept the registration uh, um, um, uh, um, process. We politicians then, all political parties, respectfully and faithfully participate and accept the figures then. And are based on them figures, and they, they nominate each one of the, the representatives in now each district, each ward, for represent them as a political party for participate in these very elections. And then the very identity card were questionable by politicians. Now, this very um, voter card, these very politicians they use as part of the legal criteria for letting you go participate in the election, you need to be a registered voter. So they use this registered voter card for nomination. Then the one that will nominate them also that this very voter card, not an invalid one, a valid voter card. But then after you don't complete all this process respectfully, you don't participate in the whole process. But then, at the onset, you see, say, this process gets some flaws, it gets challenges. Like Rashid be said earlier on. Now, you write as a citizen, so go to the court and say, we as a political party, as one of the, the, the major contender, this process gets flawed. We know they participate in it. And we want, let the court look into that. So, but if then thing then they not happen, then willingly, you know, without nobody forcing you, willingly you participate through or throughout that process. Then in um, one week to elections, you demand say let international with no nationality, but just the word international expert for come organize elections. You want for come and promote rule of law and respect constitution, but a particular provisions in the constitution we say. Somebody where for be electoral commissioner, for be a Sierra Leonean, and also the parliament for approval. We well know, say, since April, parliament not in this country. All waiting with a gear to us to June 24, this country for going to election and get a new representative there. Now we executive, now we legislative, and also now we council. Uh, continue for the program, they come over to... Rashid Dumbia with the TDQ from the insert we've been listening to, where Mange Masai put together from the incidents we happened yesterday at the All People's Congress APC party, the headquarter regarding the protest where some of the members and supporters then been do. And as much as um, throughout the program, we not only raise concern, but issues where people forget for use the legal means, go to the courts and use them procedures and they forget it gets. But also the issue of protest. Salon people, that part of their rights, don't really they enjoy them in the issue of protesting? Yes, now, very nice question, Andy. And I think say, it will be unjust for left here and not talk about them as a former commissioner for human rights. But then, like, quickly um, disagree with um, a few things when my brother said, um, respectfully, Mr. Tommy, um, about the issue of there is no law. Um, First of all, let we understand say when it comes to election in process, not to just we lost in as alone they apply. Okay, I mean an international expert in elections and human rights. 
Um, we get um, regional instruments, we get international instruments, we get best practices, we get even admissions and we get even precedents. These are all things the way they um, also subsidize for in the absence of any law. So I disagree with them in that respect. So we'll look at the issue of um, just a minute, Tommy. When we talk about the issue of um, um, the data, first of all, international best practice demands accountability in elections. So whether a law not specify, specify clearly that in a salon, international best practice demand, Nandi. And even the ECSL guiding principles, I don't watch them. I can tell you, I work with ECSL, I mean, I'm a value partner, and they really trust me so much. Then guiding principle, they talk about accountability. They pledge for account, be accountable and transparent to political parties, to um, um, donor communities, and to the citizens of Sierra Leone. They are then guiding principle. Of course, precedent also, they, were, they deal with um, giving regist voter registrar to political parties, voter registrar to political parties. And, and the, the more compelling argument that ECSL no ever said the Negi voter register. So look at and clear. So Mr. Tommy, you are wrong there. ECSL has never argued. In fact, they give the voter register. Waiting at the argument that they not give the comprehensive one. Then say, then they protect confidential information of certain voter, of the voters. All right? So now, now that far they enable go. So they, the demand was asking for a comprehensive one. Okay, that's the issue. It's not like they did not give. All right? So, and the fact that they admit and then give, clearly don't make any room anymore for law or no law. They don't admit and they don't give. So the obligation they on there now on the issue of comprehensive and not comprehensive. Now they debate there. All right? So law is unclear. It's not talk about law. They're not quoting a law. And I'm glad you to a lawyer for ECSL. All right? ECSL give the data. Now, the issue of also working with ECSL this far and not making objections, not necessarily uh, preclude anyone from making objection at any time. All right. Again, millionaire calling no go show any law will say you don't get rights for being a, a case against ECSL at any time. All right. You can be gam. The only thing they say, perhaps the timing, the best practice, considerations, and the like, but there is no law like it they say. Now on the issue of your question you make on demonstrations, let me make this very clear. So me as CSO are there for talk exactly what CSOs they for do now we country. We are the gatekeepers. Because if we support any illegality, down the line we know we'll get the moral high ground. Tomorrow if things change, we'll talk about it again. Because we don't support them down the line. So what would they say about protest? First, we lost the clear on protest. For this, this is a fundamental human rights. We guarantee you know, international and regional laws and even domestic laws. However, in the Lona Salon, we know say there is a requirement for seek permission, I mean, notify the IG, okay, which was done. And me blame them small because the IG also respond to them for call for a meeting at 10 o'clock. All right, whether that meeting was respected or not, it's another kettle of fish. But when somebody call you, say, come, let we debate. Importantly, you respect them, let you go and understand how they are planned very well. Now, but then the problem was again, the, the, the reaction of the Sierra Leone police or the, or the security forces. You know, when you, you're dealing with unarmed and civilians protesting, a peaceful protest, there are many things you have to consider when you come in to quell down a peaceful protest. The international laws, and even we lost there, so we can very clear that you get for respect the fundamental human rights of the people then. Now, what we see yesterday was unfortunate. Okay, the videos are here, and we have evidence of them. There were some security officers who were releasing live grounds. All right, so that was uncalled for. Tear gas was okay to disperse, dispel the crowd, but to, to now release live rounds, that was uncalled for. It was excessive, and we condemned that kind of approach. Today. Then we also see a different approach with the response. For example, in the provinces, we don't see the police do much. They were standing and allowing the people to express themselves. But we see a very robust posture in Freetown in particular. So we want to ask perhaps why the change in response, all right? But again, they have rights to dispel crowd by tear gas and other softer, you know, I mean, approaches. But then for use life rounds, that was uncalled for and that was excessive and we condemned that. 
All right. Uh, before we come to Tommy, yeah. you make mention of um, comprehensive list from ECSL, the demand from the um, opposition party. Mm. Will we get the publicity section for the APC now? <coughs> and I'll be asking the same question. The ECSL now the responsibility mm -hmm. for get, waiting and get to political parties. Them. From them, they say we don't give them all a list of the whole voter register. What was other list where they, where, I mean, you know, lawyer and I also, and you know, where the opposition then gets now the end, where they feel say now waiting then gets now the complete list from a um, comprehensive list from waiting ECSSA, this is what we have. Okay, so so the, the voter register, the comprehensive register as required by section 13 of the act, the PA, PA of 2022, you can forget the name, the address, the date of birth, the place of birth, the photo, the signature or the print of the person. So now a comprehensive information. As I speak to you, I know that is not the comprehensive information that was released. All right. And and the ECSL, I mean, Commissioner Justifier, he didn't only get you in an interview. I may say he did not release all because there were personal information where they believe enough to go out to the public. So you think say, right? personal information of, of, of me mm -hmm. or you mm -hmm. for being a public domain? Yeah, so, that, so that, that's my argument. So me and an expert in elections and human rights, so, and I'm meaning well for my nation. So me, they say, already that information has been in the public. Then display them when they, they exhibit the data. We all go look, we name them and check everything and then put it in our public places. So you cannot come back and say, I'm not going to release it because it's public information. Are you understanding me? So that's the point. Then again, you get for release already on the day of election. It will be public. Yeah. So to me, for dispel all this to and fro with APC, perhaps now you wait for fame for those create more tension. Get there. Right. No, move forward. And then we get a peaceful process. But now we don't pass that stage. Today. We start with it now now how for consolidate and ensure and get, give guarantees that this will be free and fair so okay. that we we'll get a peaceful outcome and end of it. All right, um, Tommy, they can't tell you, but as if at Tommy, they each right. for make, make um, um, comments yeah, quickly. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> no, I'm not the rebuff. I just try for a lot of people what you say okay. in, in a very, you know, clear way. Um, the section 13 one, right, you say? Yes, 13. Engi a mandate, a clear mandate to ECSSA then for develop mm -hmm. a voter register, develop a voter register. Way for capture the information, and they then 13 3 Ingi an option to ECSL for design modify how they want the register for day and how if he say it go help them for do their work. So you see how the the, the law the one give mandate, then one give an option. All right, you the mandate where the one give develop them for me, okay. then the other option where you give. Redesign and modify how you want and, and how you will help you for do your work. Laggy, what I'll quick to that. Laggy, quick to that. I thought Tommy can't. Tommy can't kill you. Now, what do you mean they say? What do you mean they say? Now, what do you mean they say? 13 3. 13 3. So, yes, it could be an argument where he says I go make. And then I see the one to make him. What do you mean they say? If the other than the maker, yeah. no, I didn't say that I'm going to make perhaps it says I go make down the line. Oh, but what do okay. they say? Even as we, we they look at laws, we have to also be very careful how we interpret them because if we then if they if they go against the objective, the fundamental objective of like, accountability and transparency, then we'll question. All right, <laughs> well, um, <laughs> back to I'm not clear, I'm not clear as you know. No, we, I mean, I hope okay. we, I mean, the idea is let's have an enlightening debate, yes. and this is what has been missing in this. We, yeah. Body politics for a long time. Yeah. You open your mouth and say that man uh, APC, mm. uh, SFPP. Mm. So that over time we don't shut down that space for a lighting debate and disagreement mm. on facts, on the law, on the evidence. Because then they lack in at this space, you just realize a lot of people don't they talk. I mean I don't participate in all I know they all can talk. I went what they talk, a lot of talk with facts with law. Now if you go back, Rashido, you go back, uh, I mean, relax, <laughs> watch this interview again. When I was talking a moment ago, I talked about laws, standards, international, and even look at best practices, right? I didn't restrict myself to just law in the first place. Secondly, I talked, say, the information, the, the, the voter register of the kind, of the details when they ask for, right? What you call comprehensive, me just say, of the 
kind of details when they ask for, you understand? <laughs> and say, of course, it's the same thing. I just different expression. In other words, no law, no day. I go back to that point. No law, no day, we say that section 31 details of the voter register, you forgive political parties. Now, to your point about it's already been exhibited. Well, if it's already been exhibited, why you not be captured during the exhibition and constitute you? Now, here's my point. My point is, me go tell you, say, if I want for really draw um, 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 mud in the water, if it says a mistake, give me data to any political party, are they going to court? No, no, I'm serious. There's no law that requires that. What it says, and by the way, Rashid, when I was talking, I also talked about, tell me what has happened in 2023 or waiting 2023, we don't feel for doing or not doing 2012. Tell me, say, in 2012, when they give voter register to political parties, now all that details and we get. Tell me that. That's the point. I know you, you're too kind of eager for saying to me, you are wrong, you are wrong. But when I talk, <laughs> trust me, I've done this for many years. Me and you be the RV 2018, we then give some, I mean, flawed injunction. You are chasing me all over the place, defending that decision. Today, you are an international human rights expert and election expert. We can go back to that. But this is 2023. What I'm, I've done this for more than 11 years, right? When I speak, I know say it get consequences. People listen to me. I care about my image and my reputation. I don't judge the top of everything. What, everything, everything I've said is on record. Go back and listen. So now back to the, to the point I am um, asthma. It is very important that in a society like ours, in a democracy, people can get right for protest and protest peacefully. Unfortunately, we get a constitution way newer than an old law in 1965 where they restrict that right. With constitutions, oh, even that constitution, unfortunately, say, subject to the laws of the country. In other words, you get right for protest, but the law, if the law, they say, no, way they protest, ask a police. It's the way the police don't deal with them. Perhaps now for talk about. Me really believe, say, going forward, the first order of business for the next administration, believe you me, like we um, expunge um, the provisions relating to criminal libel, first order of business, next parliament, make we basically look at public order act and deal with sections, I think 17, 18 or thereabout, and make sure, say, we give that space for let people and peacefully protest. Of course, in the cause of peaceful protest, right, if you commit any offense, we're not there for uh, um, decriminalize the other offenses. You know, go bond person, old bond person, motka, cause or stone person. Now, a criminal offense. If you do that one day, they fall out. But that right for assemble, demonstrate, protest, it should be granted to everybody. Which is why I have said the one that all will be the peacefully protest to their arrest. Let them, let them release them. Secondly, and I take at Rashid's point, the police for land for disperse protesters. In fact, the law, very clear, the 1965 law say, if people in the illegally protest, the first thing for do, in perhaps, you know, they forget megaphone, ask them for disperse. The first thing do, you ask them to disperse. Right? You know, just go and begin use live run. Having said that, people in back of the protest for make sure say they are peaceful. That is what the law provides for peaceful assembly and not provide for violent assembly. You have the responsibility there because and if you go become a threat to public property and public life, the constitution also give the police, by the way, uh, maybe I will hold on. The police, the constitution give the police law enforcement the power, you understand, for defend public property and public life. If you become violent and therefore you damage public property, the police can act in ways that unfortunately will lead to loss of life. It's all wrong. So what we're saying is open the space, let people protest, and those who've been arrested while peacefully protesting, release them without any preconditions because that is what um, democracy requires. But also, make sure, say, IPCB, let me end on that point, the Independent Police Complaints Board, get the responsibility now for investigate the live ammunition round the police use um, allegedly against protesters. They have to investigate that. However, the one that we see, we are witnesses, we don't see videos about people dramatizing some things, you understand? They have to come forward and participate in that investigation because the last IPCB pro, um, investigation ended because they say um, um, uh, APC not cooperate to them. In this case, with the urge the IPCB for investigate and with the appeal to the APC for let them um, and participate in that process so that we'll go, we'll go down to the, um, to the bottom of that matter.
final rounds before we wrap up the program. We'll start with you, um, Abdul Fatoma. Like how we done the discuss on the program this morning, some people they we not even sure say they want for vote again because of um, the issues that we don't they happen this BNTM. Now you get the opportunity for talk to salon people and as a civil society organization. Why then for choose the twenty fourth of um, June when are this coming Saturday and go cast them votes? Why then for do that? Why then for do that? Because now uh, the constitutional responsibility that every five year we laws in this country we for you know go into election and when we go into election we for vote for the people them way we think say now the right people them we go represent we from ward level and now now district level not a constituency level and also at executive level meaning the presi the presidency uh, within cabinet team so um Mina Abdulem Fatoma um, is a reunion um, from Bonth, uh, Shabro by tribe, and at the appeal to all Sierra Leonean for make we all come out. Every registered Sierra Leonean will qualify for participate through by in registration in this election. At the call on una all for let una come out for let we vote. For the people the way we will not choose say not the right people them for let them lead this country for let them lead your district for let them lead your world for bring changes election they go on uh, on saturday and no law no day we don't put stop are we it as a country say we election not the right and we they also are they also call on politicians them for let them call the membership for come out in a very large number, the one that we register, for let them vote. Because not only through the ballot box, we will be able to tell politicians and say, indeed, one protest. All right, many thanks for the program this morning. We'll come over to you, um, <coughs> Dumbuya. What's a your message to people and ways on they don't lose hope, they not be one for vote. Why yes, vote? yes. So um, I get a message there, and I get, of course, a couple of other recommendations they will also give to the state actors them and institutions them and of course the government. But I see me brother they dwell in the past, sat on me. Um, me not so possible they dwell in the past. I'm for looking. I always like for a debate with you and I find them very interesting. Forget diversity in opinions, right? Absolutely. So that is how it should be. We cannot be on the same plane all the time. All right, so um, then, of course, I'm an expert. That is uncontested. No, I get a degree in master's degree in human rights law, a distinction. I serve as a human rights commissioner, so that makes me an expert. Now, let's, let's move to recommendations. Um, first, I want to call on the government. Please release all detainees in custody, especially the one they were waiting all on this demonstration. It's good practice, it's good for democracy, we go to elections. Let them know, say, you know, hold somebody because you want to deprive them from voting. All right, so please, police, um, try for to see what we will do in that regard. Then, of course, the IPCB need for investigate um, alleged shooting, shooting the way happen na APC the hands and for ensure they then keep the peace and then go and vote and then express themselves to the ballot box. Of course, the judiciary also we need for call upon the judiciary for act speedily on all electoral cases them and concerns. If there are any cases we don't file, please look at them. That's best practice and look at them speedily. Of course, the ECSL, no doubt, you are the referee and you have to do more, do more to ensure that you win the credibility of all the players them where the ref are 